Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their true intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching, and not every reading will resonate for you. And yeah, let's get right into it. Start Angels Guides. What messages do you have for Virgo? For Virgo Spirit. What does Virgo need to know regarding love? What does Virgo need to know? What messages do you have? For Virgo, so let's see what we get for you, Virgo. It's, all right, so let's see what's going on in this connection at this time. We have the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles reverse. What do we need to know about this? Any inside challenges? Six of Swords reverse and the Star reverse. Interesting Aquarius energy there. How do you feel about this person? Two of Swords and the Sun. How do they feel about you? Eight of Cups reverse. And the Empress reverse. Hmm. Okay. Uh, any hidden factors? What do you need to know? We have the Four of Pentacles reverse, the Nine of Cups reverse, and the potential outcome here for the near future. Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords reverse. Interesting. I have like, um, there's almost like a back and forth here um, that I can feel so far bottom of the deck and is the reason why everything is happening the root the foundation why is all of this happening temperance reverse okay sagittarius energy so something's not quite balanced there's still more time needed more energy more effort someone could be feeling a bit out of sorts or like the situation is just not resolving itself or there's more that needs to be resolved um, so let's break this down. Let's, let's, let's get some insight here. Can I get more insight, please? Clarity for Virgo. Now, what's going on right now in your connection? It, I have the Knight of Cups. So this is typically um, someone that's, you know, revealing their true feelings, um, is in love. You know, there's messages here that are very genuine and sweet um there could be an apology so let's see what this is all about because the nine of pentacles is reversed which tells me there's some sort of possible like emotional attachment here or some sort of attachment um because the nine of pentacles when it's upright is a card about security independence doing well why is the knight of cups here with the nine of pentacles reversed why is the Knight of Cups here with the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So temperance shows up again. So I feel like this is about making something work again, resolving a problem, bringing, um, oh my God, in the tower, yeah. So this is um, someone trying to maybe resolve a situation here, Virgo. You or your person, because this is what's going on in your connection. So both of you are here. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which tells me this is about a partnership. So something happened in your connection. Either a tower moment happened or someone's trying to um, resolve a tower or deal with a tower here. This Knight of Cups could be an apology for whatever has happened in this connection. Um, what's this tower? about typically a tower is something that's coming down or a revelation of some sort why is the tower here why is the tower here queen of swords so this could be some sort of an interesting the queen of swords came out twice um a conversation a truth bottom of the deck i have the ten of swords interesting so i don't i, I wonder if there was a conversation that happened or some sort of truth uh, came out here that brought about an ending or a tower and that's why I feel the temperance card is reversed let's see what this is about tell me about temperance reverse oops tell me about temperance reverse why is temperance reverse why is temperance 
reverse. The High Priestess, yeah, because there was some sort of secret or something hidden. Someone kept something to themselves here. Knight of Wands. Maybe somebody was acting in secret or jumped into something secretly here. Taking action in secret. What's this temperance reverse? Someone did something that I felt they were found out. Yeah, five of cups. Exactly. So someone here did something they shouldn't have. Three of cups at the bottom of the deck. They did something behind your back. That's what I think happened here. Um, they did something behind your back and I think you found out, Virgo. So let's see. Oops. I dropped the three of cups again. <laughs> okay, so this is what you need to know here um, at the bottom. I'll have a little bit of um, Palo Santo dust. Um, the Six of Swords reverse and the Star reverse, this is kind of what you need to know about the situation. And I feel here that someone, you know, this is still needing a lot of healing or someone feels like this is a hopeless situation. Maybe they're trying to fix something that is unfixable. We'll see. Tell me about the Six of Swords reverse with the Star reverse. Why is the Six of Swords reverse the Star reverse? Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Magician. Yeah, I feel like someone's trying to fix this because there's still a lot of love here, but they don't know how to fix it with the Seven of Cups. Um, the Emperor shows up again. She's reversed here. Um, so it's almost like someone, um, either you or your person is trying to fix this because of the other person. There's, there's an appreciation for the other person. There's a lot of value that someone has. Um, it's almost like someone, you know, if someone made a mistake here, uh, which I feel that's what happened, if someone went behind your back or did something behind your back, Virgo, I feel like um, they did it to like an empress type energy and are trying to fix things despite the fact that, you know, it's not so easy to fix it. And then now this is making a little bit more sense. The fact that you have the two of swords and the sun here, um, because the sun I feel is a card about clarity. And I feel like you don't know what to do about what you know. So let's see what, what energy we can get here for both of you. How you're both thinking about each other here. Tell me about the energies between Virgo and their person. Tell me about the energies between Virgo and this other person. Tell me about Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. Tell me about Virgo's energies there. What do we need to know about Virgo's energy? Mirrored souls. Okay, tell me about Virgo's person. What do we need to know about Virgo's person? So I feel like you think this is a soulmate type of connection or you have a very strong connection with this person. But I feel like that's also making this difficult for you because you found something out. I feel like you know something with the tower um, and maybe this is something that hasn't been easy to deal with. Tell me about Virgo's person. I feel like someone's regretful here. Disappointed with the Five of Cups. Tell me about Virgo's person. Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. Yeah, I feel like this person made a mistake. They were drawn to something that they shouldn't have been drawn to or did something they shouldn't have here. So let's see more on your energy. Why is the Two of Swords and the Sun here? What's this about? Why is the Two of Swords here with the Sun? Page of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Swords here with the Sun? Why is the Two of Swords here with the Sun? Five of Pentacles. 
I feel like this is someone that is going to try to make you an offer and maybe you don't know what to do about it. They're, I feel like they're going to approach you and you're not going to know what to do. Yeah, death at the bottom, or death, uh, Scorpio energy. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of pentacles. It's almost like you're trying to figure out if you should just be single and end this. Or should you accept this offer? Maybe this person coming forward makes you happy. Um, or maybe this person is trying to do a little bit of damage control and make you a very good offer. And I think it's confusing you a little bit because I don't think you can ignore what you know. And here I have the seven, I mean, I'm sorry, the eight of cups reverse and the emperor's reverse. So I feel like this is someone that might want to return to you, but things when thinks that when they return, you're going to be upset because of what's happened. Why is the eight of cups reverse with the empress reverse? Why is the eight of cups reverse with the empress reverse? Eight of wands. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse with the Empress reverse? The Hermit, there you are, Virgo. I feel like they want to talk to you. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse and the Empress reverse. Ten of Wands. Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. I feel like this person has either held back something from you that's become difficult now. You know, it's almost like it's weighing on them. I feel like they want to talk to you. They want to, it, it, it's almost like maybe they feel like you're far away because I have the Five of Pentacles and the Hermit. So I think of those people being outside, you know, far away, there's a distance, um, they're, they're kind of away. Um, so I feel like this person could be kind of away from you here and wanting to communicate, have some sort of a movement or action here with you. But that Ten of Wands is telling me that and the Semper's reverse is telling me that this person, maybe they're just dealing with a lot um, or have a, there's a lot of baggage here because of what's happened. And they feel like you're not going to be open to this with the Empress reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. What's this Eight of Wands about? I do feel like communication, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Communication is definitely happening because the Queen of Swords is here in the um, future outcome. So I think this is definitely somebody that's going to tell you something or wanting to talk here. Um, but then I have the Ace of Swords reverse, which tells me whatever is being said, it's not everything. There's something that's still being either hidden or there's some sort of deception here. But before we get to that, let's look at what hidden factors. What do you need to know? Nine of Cups reverse four of pentacles reverse what's this nine of cups reverse with the four of pentacles reverse why are these energies here why is the nine of cups reverse with the four of pentacles reverse the world interesting four of cups yeah um i feel like this person thinks that if they were to open up, if they were to to come forward and ask for a new start or a new beginning, um, they don't think you're going to be open to this. And I have the Five of Swords at the bottom with the Eight of Swords. So it's almost like this person is assuming that there's going to be more conflict or is trying to avoid conflict here. It's strange energy because it's almost like this is someone who doesn't think they're going to get their wish granted or knows they have to give something up in order to get their wish here with the Nine of Cups reverse. Eight of Pentacles. It's almost like I think they want to prove to you that they're serious about this new beginning with the world. Like they're putting their best foot forward here. I'm hearing like, I'm going to make it up to you, that kind of energy. So then why is the Ace of Swords reversed with the Queen of Swords, right? Like why, why this energy down here? Why is the Queen of Swords with the Ace of Swords reversed? What can you tell me about the Queen of Swords with the Ace of Swords reversed? Eight of Swords. So someone's afraid. 
They're afraid, they're overthinking the situation. Five of Wands, yeah. This person's scared of making the situation worse, of causing more drama, more problems, and I feel like they're gonna be very careful what they say because of that. Yep. This is this is a tactic that this person is using in a way. Leo energy with the strength card. Um it's almost like they don't want to be completely honest or lay it all on the table right away. I feel like they want to talk about something seriously. Um, I feel like they, there's going to be a conversation between you and this person, but I almost get the sense that you don't really trust them. Um, or you're going to be reading between the lines of what they tell you because in your mind, maybe this isn't everything. I feel like this person doesn't want to cause more issues because it, they have to be on their best behavior. They have to prove to you that their things are different now or that they're very serious about, you know, fixing things with you. And they can't do that if they cause even more problems because I feel like maybe they think they're on thin ice with you, Virgo. So that's what I have for you. This is the 411 on your connection. Uh, if you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, so you can see more readings from me. I really appreciate all of your support, all of the new subscribers. Welcome, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.